Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about a critical part that could be missing from your BMW. I'm going to be installing this part number here on my car. It's a relatively new part number. Let's get it unboxed. So I'm kind of on a quest to find upgraded aluminum parts to get rid of any problematic plastic parts on my BMW. So here's a stock oil filter housing cap. They can split right down the middle with enough heat and mileage and for that reason companies have made billet aftermarket solutions. This is an aluminum part that looks just like OEM and it's relatively new and what makes it different is the fact that it comes with a cage. This part came out relatively recently. It's the only option I found that has an aluminum cage as well. I'm going to get the original housing cover off and explain to you why that part is so critical, the cage. I have the special tool to remove it, but it will be compatible with the new cap. FYI, this is a 2008 BMW 335i with the N54 motor, but what I'm talking about today will affect pretty much all BMWs for the last 20 years or so. Let me try to simulate what actually happens. Boom, so easy. You take that, you throw it away, you don't even give it a second thought, you bring the new filter, you realize, oh wait, it doesn't go in here, and you just go for the housing, and then there's a perfect place to stick it on the housing. It will self-center. You wouldn't even think about it. You're like, okay, I don't really know these cars that well, but it's sitting where it needs to be. So you'll find threads where people are talking about buying a used car and realizing that the cage was missing because they actually know a few things about BMWs. Or you'll see scenarios where people say they started to get Vanos codes and the car sounded a little rough during cold start after they got an oil change and they're trying to figure out what happened. Maybe they went to a 20 minute oil change place. That's probably the most likely scenario for this to happen. Or you're just not very experienced and you actually throw this out yourself without realizing. That's your pressure relief valve. There's a spring on the inside. On the other side, there's an O-ring with a little part that sticks out. The messed up part is it could take weeks or months to even realize that there's a problem. It would depend on the state of wear of your engine. This cage serves three purposes in my opinion. You got the O-ring at the end to act as a little plug. You have the pressure relief valve in the spring. In case too much pressure is coming in, uh, it can bleed it back down into the middle and drain it back into the engine instead of having it going through. Then this cage actually works as a support for the oil filter because too much pressure could cause the oil filter to just get collapsed on itself, fold over the pleats and you lose oil pressure. If you have a Chinese filter or a cheap filter and you forget to put the cage in, you'll probably notice you get Venos codes within probably like an hour of driving because these will all fold over and right away starve the engine. But if you have an original quality filter with reinforcement, it'll probably be fine. You won't notice anything except maybe clattery sounding cold starts or depending on the mileage and wear of your engine, you may start to get Venos codes. This won't cause your motor to blow just because you forgot to put it. But if you're at high RPMs beating on the car constantly, then yeah, maybe you can have just a little bit less volume than needed in terms of oil pressure and you're going to end up with uh, a grenaded motor. But that scenario is very unlikely for the average driver. It just is not good for the engine. So this stopper, this piece here doesn't have any other purpose except to just be a little plug. It goes in like that. So when you're pulling your oil filter cap off, all the fluid that would normally be sitting all the way up till here goes and drains out so you can actually change majority of your oil. If you didn't have the stopper, then this would be full. Every time you take your filter out, it would drip everywhere, it'd be messy. This is for convenience purposes that they put this here. So dirty oil comes from the outside, through the filter. If it's too much pressure up and through the bypass valve, excess to be bled off so that you're not gonna collapse your filter and starve the motor and it goes down through this first ring. The secondary ring here, the secondary circle, is your drain. It only functions as a tiny little drain back to the block when you want to change your oil filter. Now, if you don't have the cage, you lose the pressure relief, so you can over-pressurize your filter at times, but that's not super likely, depending on the clearances of your engine. I think it's a volume issue more than anything because this oil filter housing has a small hole just to be able to allow this oil filter housing to drain when you pull your filter out. And then the hole for feeding the engine with all the fluid, the vital fluid to keep it running is maybe three times as big. So you're losing about 30% your flow. As the oil's pressurized going through this hole, it's also going through this hole. So you're losing at all times 30% your volume. That's 
hard on the engine. It's not going to cause it to blow up unless you're at the track at high RPMs, but it will cause a ton of issues and excess wear over time more than likely. A lot of people have vanals codes and they're scratching their head, they bought a used car or they went to an oil change place and they're just not understanding why their engine's misfiring, running rough, and just feels like crap. It's all because someone didn't check to make sure this didn't get stuck on the old filter considering it snaps off. This is a part of the vano sealing system. I've already replaced them on this car, but if these were worn by the brink of still working and then you're missing your filter, right away you'll get uh, vanos codes. Now, if these are perfect, maybe you won't get any uh, side effects and it will all seem fine, but you're constantly underflowing your engine. Not a good scenario. I forgot to mention another point. If the cage is missing, then unfiltered oil can go from the top of the cap and in and bypass and not necessarily be filtered fully before it gets fed to the engine that's no good next thought would be well how come the car doesn't just trigger a low oil pressure warning first of all the way these cars are designed they just have to be under a minimum spec of oil pressure before it will trigger a low oil pressure warning and that's the sensor for it right there and it's just got to be at a minimum whatever minimum that may be 30 psi etc if it's higher than that then it won't trigger the light. It's not like it's monitoring the pressure at all times and seeing that 90 is normal, 60 is normal, whatever, and it's now at 50 and it's gonna give you a warning. It's not designed like that. But beyond that, the pressure sensor is here and then the issue is after the sensor, so it may not even be able to pick it up. So I wanted to bring attention to this issue because it's quite critical, but I also want to introduce you to a new product offering that I found. It has an aluminum cage. By design, this thing has to be mobile, it has to move to function properly. It has a spring in the middle and has a seal at the end, but it's all metal. It clips into metal. It's less likely to ever pop off. And even if it did, it would be way more obvious that you're missing a piece of metal. You pulled it off, it was sticking in the middle of the filter. It would look off. This is a new filter that wouldn't fit this car, but I wanted to get it for demonstration purposes. Could you really blame a tech if they pulled it off and they saw a piece of black plastic on the one end when they come that way from the factory, depending on the model? From what I can tell, this has only been available for maybe a year or so, and a lot of people don't know about it. OEM tools will work on it. I'm on a bit of a mission to not have any plastic parts where possible if they make upgrade options. And the billet cap alone is not a good enough solution. I wanted the aluminum cage as well. My filter here has got very few miles on it, maybe a few hundred, so I'm just gonna put it back on. So we're gonna insert it here, clip it down into place, Actually, before anything, grab a little bit of oil, lubricate your O-ring. The final tightening torque is 25 Newton meters. So, but, you know, it's cool that there's an aluminum upgrade. I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested in purchasing this. It comes in at around $30. And if you have a lot of miles on your original cap, some peace of mind designed just like OEM looks kind of OEM. But the main point of this video, in my opinion, was to bring to your attention that the cage can be missing on yours. I don't know, from what I've seen, it's very common. It can happen easily and you guys could be running around giving your engine with less pressure than it needs. It wouldn't hurt to pop this off. Just take a look and then, or if you want to do the aluminum upgrade, do it and you'll be able to take a look at that time if it's there. If you've been encountering venous issues and scratching your head and doing all this research and all that and you haven't checked this just double check that your cage is there it can be a big issue all right guys that'll conclude this video showing you how to upgrade to an aluminum oil filter cap and cage along with verifying that your oil filter cage is in place and summarizing why it's so important if this is the first video you're catching on mine please consider subscribing i do upload regularly thanks for watching